Well, several 2020 presidential candidates are coming to the defense of Congresswoman Ilhan Omar after President Trump tweeted an edited video which some say is inciting hatred against her. Now, here's a bit about what happened. This was March 23rd, and Representative Omar gave a speech at the Council on American-Islamic Relations. Far too long, we have lived with the discomfort of being a second-class citizen. And frankly, I'm tired of it, and every single Muslim in this country should be tired of it. CARE was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. As an American member of Congress, I have to make sure that I am living up to the ideals of fighting for uh, liberty and justice. Those are very much rooted in the reason why my family came here. Here's the problem. President Trump only used a portion of her speech in his tweet, specifically the words where she said, some people did something. And that can be seen by many as an attempt to show her minimizing the September 11th attacks. Now, the president's word, we know, we know words matter, especially to his nearly 60 million followers on Twitter. So yesterday, Bernie Sanders called the president's attack disgusting and dangerous. Elizabeth Warren has called it shameful, but O'Rourke said we're stronger than this president's hatred and Islamophobia. Joining me now, Steve Rogers, Donald Trump campaign advisory board member. Steve, welcome back. Hey, Victor. Glad to be here. Okay, so first, explain from your perspective the outrage over the representative's comments there. Well, could you imagine, Victor, if some congressman or congresswoman would have said, some people did something to the African Americans during the times of enslavement, or some people did something to some people or the Jewish population in Germany uh, during the time of World War II. So what the president did, and I think what many wanted to see her do, was call it out for what it is. It wasn't some people who enslaved uh, 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 the African Americans. It wasn't some people who persecuted the Jews, and it wasn't some people who took down the towers. Call them out for what they were. They were Middle Eastern terrorists that committed that atrocious act. And that's as simple as I can get. Um, last week, a man was arrested uh, for threatening to murder a Congresswoman Omar. And according to the affidavit, he said, and this is a quote, he's a patriot, that he loves the president, and he hates radical Muslims in our government. This was in, in reference to why he, he wanted to, to hurt, to kill Representative Ilmar, uh, Ilhan Omar. Should the president consider that when he's tweeting videos like the one he, he has pinned now on his Twitter account? Well, you know what? We, we, we certainly will never, ever uh, endorse anyone committing an act of violence against anyone. And look, we say things and we express our freedom of speech. We're not responsible, Victor, for the actions of other people. You and I could say something on the air and some crackpot will take what we say and turn it around and to try to justify their actions. So you mean look, like always, uh, uh, if you see someone who wants to throw a tomato, punch him in the face or uh, I'll pay your legal bills if you attack one of these protesters, something like that? Well, 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 you know what, Victor? There you go again, as Ronald Reagan said. This is not the, about the president of the United States, okay? People are responsible for their own actions. It's easy to say, you know, that person made me do this, that person made me do that. I spent 38 years in law enforcement, and all I heard were, from criminals was, well, you know what? I was forced to do it because someone made me do it. The president is not responsible for the actions of other people. But the president is not, is he not responsible for his words? If he incites violence, uh, is he not responsible for, for those words? I've been to his rallies. I've been all over the place with him and his team. He has never incited violence. He has never, ever suggested that people should commit violent acts against each other. That, so, that is you know, absolutely it, it, untrue. That is absolutely well, untrue. Yeah. There is According video of the you, president. Victor. Well, I, you know, oh, please. so we've seen the president say that with the good old days that people would be taken out in stretchers, 
at his rallies during the 2016 campaign. We've seen him say what he'd like to do was punch somebody in the face. We've seen him promise to pay for legal bills for people if they were to uh, attack a, a, a protester at one of his rallies. So what you're saying there just simply is not true. I have a limited amount of time well, with you. you. Uh, it, it, it is the truth. And you can say it's me well, or well, you could quote uh, Ronald so Reagan. It is truth. Truth well, doesn't need an endorsement, truth, Steve. I was there. Well, it's like, the, it's like some of the Democrats who said, get up into the face of conservatives, you know, slap them around, uh, commit acts of violence. I mean, these were words from Democrats, okay? So don't put it on the president, Victor. People are responsible I am for their the own actions. the president. And yes, Democrats will be responsible for their actions, too. And the people who made uh, any of those comments have to be responsible as well. But you cannot just absolve the president and say he's never suggested people should be inv violent because there are plenty of examples online uh, that, that people have seen. So they know the truth. Let me move here to immigration. Um, okay. Dumping migrants in cities purely for political retribution. How does that solve any of the problems that the president says he wants to solve at the southern border? Well, I find it amazing that the Democrats are, have no problem with having illegal immigrants dumped in my neighborhood, all right, where I have to pay for all their legal fees and I have to pay for their education and I have to pay for medical care. So why not dump them, as you say, in the neighborhoods of the Democrats who have obstructed the president from doing his job. You know why they don't want that, Victor? They don't want the problem. It's never been a, uh, an issue of doing what's right for this country uh, on the side of the de Democrats. It's doing the what's politically that, right for them. Well, OK, so how does that I'm going to get back to the question. How does that plan solve any problem the president wants to to solve at the southern border? Well, you already had some mayors of cities are welcoming the uh, illegal immigrants into the sanctuary city. So it solves a big problem. They want to take them. They want to pay for them. They want the taxpayers to foot the bill. They'll have nothing to worry about. The police are unable to do their job. They're unable to enforce federal law. So I thought it was a great idea. And I thought well, how the, bring how them where they're safe. You said who's unable to, to enforce federal law? Local police are not allowed to cooperate with ICE. They cannot force federal laws. Listen, Steve, let me let me ask you this, because I think it's important that we just tell the truth here. When you say that um, they want to to pay for them, who's going to pay for the, the cost of transport to to transport the, the migrants from the border states to these these small and midsize as, as the plan is communities? Well, who's going to pay good for the question? Them? We are. The taxpayers. And, and, so you and think that for, in the, for the, the purpose of the, political the, retribution, it's worth the cost. It's worth the liability. Is it worth the cost not to put a wall up? Is it worth the cost not to give the president Putting the funding he needs Putting up a wall does not this? circumvent the asylum process. You know that, Steve. If people want to come look, to look. this country and seek asylum, there are international and, and, and domestic laws that protect that. Laws in, in 48, 1951, the Refugee Act, 1980. There are laws in place way, to protect Victor. that. Yes, there is a There's legal way. There's a legal way. way. There's a legal pathway. There's a legal way. There's a legal pathway. We're talking about people coming in illegally. And look, you know as well as I do, a, a lot of people say they want political asylum, not for reasons that you should have political asylum for, but they come for other reasons. There's a process. It takes time. Yes, it there is a, a process, which is why when the president says to Border Patrol agents, just tell them to turn around and don't let them in, that is illegal. Do you endorse that? Listen, Victor, we can't hold them anymore. The, even the Democrat, the New York Times, for goodness sakes, and you know they're not a fan of the president. They agreed this week. We have a national crisis now. So Steve, what are we going to do with these people? You can either endorse a process, a legal process, or endorse flouting the law and saying, turn around. Which is it? Which is it? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. It's the Democrats not endorsing a process. It's the Democrats for years. And I'll put it on the Republicans too, Victor, because before Donald Trump, they really didn't step up and do the job that should be done. Steve, uh, done you've got now. to answer the question here. Do you want the process of, of people coming here to seek asylum to, to happen where they try to, to explain how they face a credible threat? There is a credible fear and there's a legal process or do you want to go with the president's plan to say, country's full, go back home, sorry. You can't do both. You either follow the you're, law you're right. or you and follow I, the president's right. plan. Which is and it? I want, 
And I want what the president's plan is for the United States Congress to step up and do immigration reform the right way. We can no longer, Victor, bring people into this country. There's no more room. We don't have the doctors. We don't have anything down there left to take care of them. This right, is so, why they're being bussed elsewhere. So just so we, we have for the people who I don't know how they could not have seen it, but I want you to see this. Uh, th these, this claim that you make that the president has never incited violence, has never been aggressive or asked others to be aggressive or endorsed anything like that during his campaign rallies, roll it. I love the old days. You know what they used to do to guys like that when they were in a place like this? They'd be carried out on a stretcher, folks. Knock the crap out of them, would you? Seriously. Okay? Just knock the hell. I promise you, I will pay for the legal fees. We have some protesters who are bad dudes. Truth is, doesn't need an endorsement, Steve. Steve Rogers Truth from the, is. Uh, the Trump campaign <laughs> advisory board. Thanks so much for being with us. All right, Victor. Thank you. Pleasure being here. Christy? All righty. Buckle.